beautiful babes how are you guys welcome back so glad to have you guys here and for those of you guys that are new thank you for joining in on my channel i do cash stuffing budgeting saving up challenges and all things money related so if that's interesting to you please feel free to leave a comment a like and a subscribe it will really help me out with the algorithm today we're going to be doing something kind of different but still money related i am going to be reorganizing my envelopes and my binders i do have a new addition for those of you guys that watch me can you tell what's different here all right i did get a new binder again uh, we are gonna be pretty much going through this binder checking it out seeing how it looks like we're also going to be labeling a couple of other binders and a little bit of decorating for our envelopes so without further ado i'm just gonna jump right in so i haven't even really opened this to review but i'm the type of person that loves sticking to i guess one theme so i ended up picking this binder up so that it can match my other three binders if you guys are interested in these three binders it's linked down below also this new edition will be linked down below this is from a different provider so it is a tad bit different naturally the width of this blue one is a little bit thicker and it also has a button this one is not magnetic whereas these they are magnetic I still like that the corners are gold which is definitely something that I was looking for the inside is pretty much the same usually when you guys are ordering most of the binders will come with envelopes already it will also come with some labels for you you know very typical labels we got rents transportation gifts clothing gas beauty they're actually really cute labels but i like my own these are the envelopes i believe it comes with 12 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve also comes with these budgeting sheets which are identical to my previous binders there's also some blank labels for you to go ahead and write on it that's everything that's in here i'm gonna put some things away so here we have the labels there are four different colors and each of the color represents what is going to go in each binder i needed to replace some of these labels because my old labels were kind of falling off let's just work on the blue binder first this blue binder the reason why i got it is because you guys know that i did start a second job so i do have a job in the bottle service slash clubbing industry i was thinking to myself like the money that i make there to go to good use of course i can definitely just take whatever i make there and put it in you know the sinking funds that i already have but i kind of really wanted to know how much of my income from the bottle girl is actually going to different things for example if i want to buy like new heels to wear at work i don't want to really take it out of my typical sinking fund because it's really just for work and it's not necessarily for me and i don't feel like i'm actually spending it correctly hopefully that makes a little bit of sense to you guys i was really thinking what do i want to do with the money that comes in i don't want to label it all together as my cash stuffing i've come to the conclusion that what i'm going to do when i first start out once i get paid i am going to be doing a separate video so i'm still going to have videos every week up on my regular income so my human resource job my nine to five you know that weekly cash stuffing that you guys know and love however anything that i get paid for bottle girl i get paid every two weeks as a bottle girl so what i'm going to do is i'm either going to stuff once a month maybe it's going to be like an august bottle girl stuffing things like that or i'm going to stuff every single time i get paid i'm going to kind of like feel things out i don't mind posting but i don't want to overwhelm you guys you know and i don't want to like oversaturate my videos you guys are watching it and you guys want to give me some feedback like if you guys would love to just see like every single time i get paid how much i make as a bottle girl instead of doing it every month please let a girl know because i'm really really contemplating on either but what i'm gonna do is just cut these down a little bit this is the one part I hate about these envelopes is why aren't these already punched? You know what I mean? The fact that you have to punch them yourselves is just so 
annoying. Y'all, let me just fast forward the video on this part real quick because I, I think this is gonna really take forever. Alright you guys, I got all of them. I'll throw this in the trash real quick. Do you guys think me should be at the end or at the beginning? Hmm. Let's just do it at the end for now. Okay, so we'll take the first one. Okay, so I pulled the film out and I'll place it how I want it. So, and then I'll just take it out. To make sure that everything is aligned correctly, you just have to put and line this up on top and now you know exactly where you're supposed to be putting the next label. Okay, so this one is gonna be wardrobe. Anytime when I need to get like, for example, heels or whatnot, then I'll be pulling it from wardrobe. Or if I, you know, wanna get slides because I don't actually walk into work in my heels. Sometimes I come with slides because they're really comfortable. And I did taxes previously. I do wanna make sure that I am putting at least 20% away to pay for taxes. I've never had two jobs at the same time, so I don't know how my taxes is gonna be. So I might as well just be on the safer side and just stuff an extra 20%. And if at the end of the year, I end up not even having to pay taxes, I literally can just spend that money for myself. So it, it's gonna work out. So New Beginnings is a new envelope. I got that idea from this budgeter that I watch. Her name is Spicy Money. Definitely leave a link to her YouTube. I just love watching her videos because they're very informative. I love listening to her voice. It's very soothing. So New Beginnings is, it's like a future envelope. For example, for me, maybe it would be, maybe I'll put the funds into my house once I get a house, or maybe I'll put that funds into my small business to get me started, things like that. It's very beautiful and therapeutic, the way that it sounds. And then we have maintenance. So what maintenance means, I will have to, you know, get my hair done, get my nails done, things like that. Those are considered all things maintenance. I don't wanna be pulling from, you know, my other sinking funds. I Feel like it should definitely come from work you know like if i need to go get my hair done to look a certain way for the bottle girl my paycheck from bottle girl should be paying for that not anything else i also have a gas envelope this envelope is just going to be specifically for when i go to work it is an hour away i wanted to make sure that i allocate enough of my paycheck into gas and then we have the energy energy means that in case i need like energy drinks like a red bull or maybe I need like a sandwich to bring to work or maybe I need to go to Target to get some granola. That's what I mean by energy. Instead of putting like food and drinks, I feel like energy is just like a short, cute way of saying it and it's different. And then the last one is drip. So if you guys watch Pink X Budgets, she puts drip in her envelope. I think it could count as wardrobe too, but for me, in my mind, when I say drip, it's literally like jewelry. And there we have it. And that's it. All my envelopes are ready to go for my first bottle girl cash stuffy and I want to finish putting these label on the other envelopes so coffee is the new envelope that I needed to put into my weekly allowance binder and this is my extra mini envelope so let me cut out coffee there you have it so now we have a coffee envelope that is ready to be used the next one is a wardrobe. I haven't really been spending much money on clothes. Let's just put this right here real quick so we can measure out. Awesome. Close that. This will need an envelope and a budgeting sheet. I'm the type of person that likes reusing things, so I'm gonna reuse some of my old budgeting sheets. So this one is the one I'm gonna use. I don't want to throw it because it's such a waste. All right, so 
I do have two envelopes that I used to have in my binders, but then I decided let me just take these out because I gotta focus on paying off my debt, things like that. But now I'm like, I have a second job. I deserve to put these envelopes back in. The first one is the lover envelope. I'm gonna put the goal as 500 as well. It represents my boyfriend, so if we have date night, if I need to buy him like a birthday gift, Christmas gift, whatever, that's gonna be coming out of this envelope. And I decided to reintroduce this envelope because our anniversary is this month. It's going on to two years, but I've known him for, I would say, roughly about five years now. Four and a half, five years. Yeah, we've been talking for a really long time. When it comes to his birthday, which is in November or Christmas, that's in December, like I will have that money set aside because now coming up to our anniversary, I realized that I didn't really set aside that much money. Yeah, I just want to prepare myself for the future. And the buffer envelope is, I noticed that if I go out to get groceries and I go over, like I'll use my credit card. And so I do want to reintroduce Buffer. As of right now, this binder is really thick. So like I said, some of my stickers did fall off because of the heat inside my room. So I'm replacing them. It's going to be this binder. Okay. There we go, and then the last one. So everything in here is pink, if you guys can tell. And so I wanna make sure that this last one gets changed to the color pink as well. Cause I think originally I decided to put the Debt Snowball into my white binder, which has all blue labels. But over time it just made sense for it to be in the expense binder and I didn't have the time to change the color. I realized I might as well do it since I'm changing everything up anyways. Everything is good to go. I never thought I would get to the point where I would be that person who has five binders. Like I said, it's really important to evolve and grow with your cash stuffing because, you know, if you would have told me day two of doing this that you need five binders, I'd be like, no. There's no, there's absolutely no way. All right, you guys. And this is the last part of the video. I'm really excited for this. Let me get some envelopes to do a 100 envelope challenge. So I heard that after you're done stuffing 100 of these envelopes, you get about 5,000. So that would be really, really nice, you guys. So I decided to get, you know, just regular, regular Amazon mini card envelopes. I think these are perfect size for the money. So I'll leave the link down below. It was really cheap. I think it was like $8. I was going to get it all in one solid color. Like I was going to get them all in pink, but I feel like I kind of want to spice things up. I think the rainbow is really, really cute. Obviously, I need to label these from 1 to 100. Yeah, so let's just get to labeling. After I complete this, I'm definitely gonna reuse these envelopes because why not? I think that they are still gonna last even after holding cash one time. I'm taking my time at writing these out because like I said, I do wanna reuse it and I wanna enjoy looking at these. I was like, I definitely do want to at least finish from six months to one year. I'm going to stuff about two to three envelopes every single week. And maybe once I get paid as my bottle girl, I also stuff two envelopes. And so that way, I'll probably reach it anywhere from six months to a year from now. Ooh, I see y'all, I literally almost messed up. I wrote 26 instead of 25. If you guys are interested in saving $5,000, you know, maybe within two years, a year, a few months, I definitely think getting these envelopes is a really cute and cost saving idea. Of course, there are many, many options on Etsy of, you know, creators already making these envelopes for you guys. So you guys won't have to sit here and, you know, number them like I am if you guys are interested in that. So I finished 
I think it was my third shift as a bottle girl and y'all it got so so much better I was like really not feeling it because of like the environment and the amount of like time and effort that I was putting into like getting ready and having to go to work after I've already finished my typical nine to five it was just a lot you guys so I commend you guys out there that are working two jobs and still you know finding the time for yourselves i really really commend you guys because i'm i'm still working things out y'all i'm still working on it you know i am starting to really enjoy it because i'm the type of person that's like no i don't necessarily need to make friends but i need to know whether i'm welcome somewhere or not because if i'm not please let me know and i will gladly get out of your way and you know resign like i have no problem with that yeah and i know the mindset like fuck everything else do you you're here for the money things like that like i completely understand it and truly i am i'm there for the money but at the same time like there are better options out there for you instead of being in a toxic relationship constantly and then it just ruins like your your mindset your mentality of things your personality your joy like and i'm saying it was toxic because yes at the beginning these girls were really really fucking catty and i felt like only the guys were really nice to me and like the girls didn't even give me the time of day didn't even want to get to know me and i would only like be able to talk to a select few of the the girls and so i worked the first shift then you know i think it was like a saturday that i worked so the following week my manager forgot to put me on the schedule which is perfectly fine because i was like i need a break from this shit honestly and i also got you know my teeth removed so i had like three sorry four teeth removed so it was a huge procedure and i did it on wednesday and by friday he was like oh shit i thought you were supposed to be on the schedule i forgot to put you and i was like no dude i can't come in i already did my surgery like i'll see you next week even if i didn't have a surgery you're gonna tell me the day of a few hours before my shift that i need to come in like i'm sorry but I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, I took a break, went back the following week. I feel like having that break really made like the girls have a different opinion on me. There were only half of the same girls. I definitely shined, I'm not gonna lie, because the supervisor, the lead of the bottle girls were really praising me. Like everyone that I was working next to was really praising me about my work ethic, how fast I'm going, how fast I'm, I'm learning things, how really good I am. So that really solidified and I also fe felt it too um, when I was like running around I had a feeling that like I can really fucking do this like this doesn't seem as hard as I, I thought it was you know I really felt confident in what I was doing and like no one could tell me otherwise and the day after went into my second shift and again killed it and like i have no idea why i was doubting myself or comparing myself to these girls because like i'm unique and like why doubt yourself and i, I always had that problem of doubting myself but i guess i got over it a lot quicker than i normally would like for example my human resource job girl i was doubting myself for like months months on end i kept saying i can't do this job this is crazy this is i just don't want to be in this career anymore i can't do it and like here i am a year and a month later it literally just past my anniversary at work i'm slaying it at work too like i'm really good at what i do awesome we now have 100 envelopes all right you guys well that is it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned because in a few days i'm going to be having my first cash stuffing of august and i'm going to be using this new setup of everything so hope you guys enjoy this video and i hope you guys also enjoyed my unstuffing and my bill swap video if you haven't watched it i will leave a card up here so that you guys can check it out so yeah anyways thank you guys again and i'll see you guys in my next one that's all for now.